I am so proud of this community. The amount of grievous love I've been seeing has been bringing so much happiness to my heart. As you guys are probably well aware, a couple weeks ago we put out a video on Gear 13 General Grievous and how he was doing insane amounts of damage and I wanted to come back to remake the video because lots of Gear 13, lots and lots and lots of Gear 13 has started showing up in my arena shard. So what I want to do today, I'm going to be crediting, crediting a lot of people as I'm speaking right now because there has been so much theory crafting done that that first idea that I put out there, people took that first generation of the idea and started pushing the boundaries and try to do more fine-tuned theory crafting and I've seen so many videos out there we're gonna give credit to a lot of people right now we started off with this HK lineup right here and we even saw this lineup started putting a minor dent in the meta where it's slowly becoming a bit more prevalent than Padme Amidala which is kind of a big thing and I've saw I've seen so many videos from so many creators kind of furthering the successes of General Grievous and that the, from that video that I made a couple weeks ago and what I want to do today is we are gonna talk about the successes of Gear 13 Grievous up against a gear 13 Darth Revan team but I'm also gonna put a PSA to this because I think some of the videos you've been seeing out there lately uh, have been exaggerating the results a little bit and there's been it seems like a lot of cherry-picked footage I'm not gonna talk too much about this HK 47 lineup because one of the things I have been enjoying from this theory craft and the community has been doing has been trying to replace HK 47 with IG 88 now a couple weeks ago I did tweet about how I also been been enjoying IG 88 but some people have been taking this a little bit farther to make the team a lot better and this is the team right here that I really 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 want to talk about so the reason why we see IG-88 in here is because people want to try to free up HK-47 and use him for Darth Revan he's kind of a key component to the Darth Revan Darth Malak lineup but with IG-88 there comes a lot of good things extra critical chance and you get to inflict damage over time whenever a critical hit is scored so you're gonna increase critical chance which increase the likelihood of General Grievous getting a big hit T3 and 4 is still necessary you want that combat logic uh, Zeta upgrade uh, on him to make sure you're gonna keep uh, uh, increasing the amount of damage for each debuff that's uh, flying around on the field but this lineup is getting rid of uh, getting rid of L337 because L337 it's not a character that a lot of people have up and ready but the good thing about uh, uh, R2D2 is that with number crunch R2D2 is going to be feeding a bunch of extra things such as uh, offense and max protection and whatnot an extra critical chance to all the droid allies on the team so this R2D2 is a good replacement R2D2 is not as important for a CLS lineup anymore so it's kind of easy to get rid of RT2, but he's still a good character for CLS. And then, of course, we got General Grievous. Now, there's been a lot of theories about how to mod this character, and I've tried each and every one of them, and I've not gotten the perfect results that I've been seeing up against Gear 13. This stuff that I'm sh showing you, it works against Gear 12, Darth Revan, and Darth Malak, and anything below that. So that, I can give you the thumbs up on, but the, the, the stuff against Gear 13 has seemed a bit exaggerated. And I've tried critical damage on the triangle. I've tried health, as we're seeing right here, and critical chance, and I'm going to kind of fly through all those mod theories and show you that it's still not a hundred percent perfect but it's still a good lineup and i'll explain in a second so first off i'm gonna go with what i like the most is just a full-on health grievous because that's the best all-around mods to have on grievous and i don't like keep moving mods for certain lineups because i want a, a grievous that's ready to go for no matter what battle we're heading into so let's hop into battle show you how it works i'm not going to cut in between the battles too much except to switch out the mod so you can see exactly how this works because a lot of the, I mean when I did the first video a while ago with General Grievous and Gear 13 that first video I tried to minimize the cuts there's basically no cuts in between battles you saw me refreshing the crystals and whatnot here we go so the strategy with this one it's basically you're gonna get BB to go you want to make sure he's modded to go first and you want BB to kind of be modded for as low uh, for the for the lowest amount of survivability you want BB8 to go away as fast as possible so we can start triggering the bonuses for a uh, General Grievous RT2 you want him to follow up because he's gonna start getting debuffs on the field which is gonna to start juicing up t3 m4 now t3 m4 speaking of him let's get him in here let's start and have trying to remove these debuff uh, trying to move these buffs try to get some target lock on the field and another good thing about the uh, ig8 that i forgot to mention if you have the zeta on him which isn't required but it's helpful the unique on ig8 prevents target locked enemies from recovering health or protection which should help minimize the survivability of uh sith empire teams here we go and again this is my account we're not on a test account right now and then there's General Grievous. So and there's going to be some other lineups that recommend having a slower General Grievous, and I will show those. For this one, I'm just going to go with the, my standard all-around modded General Grievous. So here, we're just going to open up with an AoE. Some people like doing this right away, but I only like to use Skittering Horror if there's Corrupted Battle Meditation. So here we go. Let's do an AoE. And we already got some pretty decent damage out there. So we're starting off okay. We got some fear on General Grievous, and now we're hopefully going to get BB-8 to go Kapow. 
BB-8's gone, and now what I want to do is now use Skittering Horror, because Corrupted Battle Meditation, a lot of people said they're having problems getting critical hits. This is your problem, because if there's Corrupted Battle Meditation, you, it reduces your chance to get a critical hit. So what we're going to do right now is use Skittering Horror. Let's increase Grievous' health pool. Boom. All right, so we increased our health pool a little bit. And now we're going to lose RT2. All right, we still got uh, uh, we still got uh, T3M4 here. No Corrupted Battle Meditation, so hopefully we can land a lot of critical hits. So let's see what we can do. Boom, so there we go. But as you see, if that was a gear 12 Malik, he would have died. He would have been gone and that's it. Uh, but he did survive because he's gear 13 as well as Darth Revan. So we might be able to get rid of uh, Revan right here. I don't think so because T3M4, you kind of need him. This is kind of the result I've been getting. I mean, more often than not, Revan, he would be gone and it just comes down to Malik. And at the point I'm gonna say is that this is still going to be a good lineup. Oh, how is that a good lineup if you didn't win? Think of Grand Arena. You need a team to quickly knock down a Sith Empire team and get rid of as many people as possible. Narrowing it down to Darth Vader and Darth Malak is so much more manageable for the second follow battle. So this is why I'm going to say it's still a good lineup. Is it as perfect as all these videos have been showing against Gear 13 footage? I don't know. I don't think so, really. And that's the PSA I want to put out there. All right, I'm going to do another refresh. We're going to go in here. I mean, I, I, I put, I'm putting my own money down to show you how this is going to work because I want to just kind of uh, try to minimize the cuts so you can see how this is going to go. So right now, what we're going to do is remod for some other theories. There are some theories out there that you should mod Grievous for extra critical chance. Get rid of this uh, uh, triangle right here and put in some extra critical chance. And that's what we're going to do. I, I spent some money to uh, go ahead and uh, get some critical chance and also that we're also going to try to minimize the amount of speed on General Grievous because you want to make sure Corrupted Battle Meditation gets out as early as possible so it's not going to be on, in the way of Grievous when he wants to use an AoE later on. I'll explain that in a second. Now you're going to want to try to keep on as much health as you possibly can because health is still going to be important and then you want to also try to make Grievous as slow as possible. Unfortunately, I do not have any uh, other uh, uh, six dot critical chance things right there so we're going to try to minimize the speed a bit over here and I'm going to remove my plus 19 speed. So we got Grievous to 73% critical chance, which is great. So with IG88, you're going to get plus 20% more and then RTD2. Grievous should be over the 200% uh, thresh uh, threshold for critical chance. Let's go into this battle right here. It's the same team we just went up against a second ago. We're going to keep IG88 in here and have all of his loveliness. So the, this strategy is revolving around more critical chance and a slower Grievous. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So here we go. Same strategy. BB-8 goes first. RT2 starts getting burning. We're going to start uh, increasing the, the critical damage on T3 and 4. Let's go spam some more debuffs. Maybe get some target lock. Uh, I don't think I see any target lock on the field. No, nope. No target lock. IGD. His damage should be pretty high because of T3 and 4. So let's get a nice AoE out there. Got a couple of target locks. No healing and all that fun stuff. And here we go. Slow Grievous. So the, the point of a slow Grievous is to get the Basla Shan out and apply Corrupted Battle Meditation. And what we're going to do right now is just increase Grievous's health pool. And hopefully by the time we get IG88 to go bye bye Ah, uh, come on. We're hoping. Uh, there we go. Grievous is going to get his turn. No Corrupted Battle Meditation. And I don't think Critical Chance is the way to go. Because the point of Critical Chance is to override Corrupted Battle Meditation. But if you're timing out the Corrupted Battle Meditation disappearing, really I don't see the point of Critical Chance all that much. But here we go. Let's see what we can do right now. So again, um... We got Malik to kind of stick around. We're going to lose T3M4. And uh, we might be able to take out Sith Trooper. And uh, let's see. We can, can we get rid of Sith Trooper right here? Uh, not quite. So it looks like again. Oh, there we go. So again, it's a good counter. Soft, soft, soft counter at Gear 13. Grievous versus Gear 13. J Darth Revan and Darth Malik. Because we did dwindle down the team, which makes the follow-up team an, e a an easier time for that cleanup crew. So let's go do another battle. I'm going to mix it up again. I'm going to take another modding strategy, which is to instead, instead of health and critical chance. Uh, but uh, we're going to go and now put some critical damage on these guys, on Grievous instead. All right, so here we go. So this time, we're going to go take off the critical chance because, as I said, if, if, if we're going with this theory that you want high critical chance, uh, but you're you're also making Grievous slow to time out Corrupted Battle Meditation, I'm not sure if that really makes much sense. So another strategy I saw was maybe high critical damage. So we're going to have more critical damage because health is great for a marathon type of things because Grievous is going to increase his health over time. But for things that last only 10 to 20 seconds, maybe critical damage is going to be the way to go. So same thing. We're going to get BB-8 to go out. The R2-D2 is going to get the burning. We're going to get a T3 and 4 to come in here. A lot of debuffs. IEG-88 is going to fly in. A lot of target locks. And let's see what happens here. All right. BB-8 is going to get a punch. But since we have Corrupted Battle Meditation, because we made Grievous as slow as possible, we're going to start increasing the health pool of Grievous. So we're going to hold off on the AoE ability. So it's uh, no big damage right there. But as you notice, now Grievous is going to follow up, and he's going to get a big hit, hopefully. So we uh, let's see what we can do here. 
There we go. So we got rid of Basilisk John Fallen. Uh, there must be a crit avoidance error or something over on, uh, on, uh, on, let's see. I think that's, uh, yeah, Sith Trooper. Let's see if we can get another big hit right here. We still have RT to T3 and 4. We got rid of Darth Revan. So we're going to probably leave this battle with at least Sith Trooper out of the picture. Let's see if we can get the Sith Trooper out. So, again, we didn't get pull off a win. And this is what I want to show because a lot of the footage I've been seeing with Gear 13 Grievous up against uh, Darth Revan, Darth Malak, they're probably, I mean, I, when I've done this uh, outside of what I'm doing right now, once in a blue moon, we'll also get uh, Grievous to uh, pull out a win. But usually, most of the time, if you're going to do this strategy, this is the PSA, it's going to come down to Grievous and Malak most of the time. It's not going to be good for Arena. But for Grand Arena Territory Wars, that is a good thing. That's the point I want to put out there. I'm not saying these people out there who are making videos are lying to. No, there's probably once in a while you're going to pull off a win. But I can't give you the 100% guarantee like I was able to tell you with Gear 13 Grievous up against a Gear 12 Malik. Malik's the problem because he has just enough health usually to stick around. And Grievous by that time is usually under 100% health. One quick force drain, drain life, whatever uh, the, the copycat Nihilus ability is that Malik has can usually wipe out Grievous. And that's the PSA that I'm hoping will kind of clarify things that have been going around with Gear 13 Grievous up against Gear 13 Malik. And just for the heck of it, to kind of wrap up our video, let's go up against one of the fastest Darth Revens I've ever seen in my life. We're going to go up against this guy again, putting my own money on the, on the field right now. I'm going to keep at the critical damage thing because the critical chance theory, I don't quite know makes sense because I want to try to maximize Grievous's damage and he's already getting critical hits if as long as Corrupted Battle Meditation is not on. If you find yourself with a lot of Corrupted Battle Meditation and you feel like you can never shake it off, then yeah, toss on extra critical chance to make sure you can try to override that Corrupted Battle Meditation. So here we go, we're going to start off, get the burning going. Even though that's a, one of the fastest Darth Revens I've ever seen in my whole entire life, bb is going to allow the droids to get out first. Here we go. Big hit. Very nice. bb is going to take the punches. Let's see what we can do. We have the Corrupted Battle Mutation on Grievous. And another thing I've noticed, I mean, I think I've gotten pretty lucky here. A lot of the footage you're seeing out there as well, it's showing Grievous never getting fear. Sometimes, keep in mind, sometimes Grievous will get fear when Basilashan does their fear ability. He might get it, and that's going to mess things up quite a lot. So let's see if we can get an AoE here. We got, and also, I showed you the mods earlier while we are doing the battle. One thing you want to do, oh, look at that. We actually got rid of, um, we actually got rid of Darth Malak that time. So as I said, sometimes this will work. Sometimes this will work. Will it work every single time? I don't think I can kind of give you that assurance. So let's see. All right, there we go. So we took out one of the fastest Darth Revens and Darth Malaks. It's going to work sometimes that you can take out the whole thing, but it's very messy. You're kind of, it's, uh, this, is a, this is a suicide squad team, and the point of a suicide squad is they're going in on a dangerous mission, and they might not come out alive, but they're going to put a big damage, uh, put a big dent into the other person's team. And then let's do one more battle. We're going to go up against this, Dar uh, this Darth Revan right here. I probably should have checked out the Darth Malik mods on the other guy. So this battle that we're about to go in, they had a, they have a, they're going to have 188,000 uh, health combined. Let me go back and show you the mods for the other team. We just beat uh, this guy right here. Very good, uh, very good guy person. I've talked to him a lot. He's in my arena shard. He had, so he had a little bit less health and protection. So this isn't the most optimized uh, Malik that I've seen. You, the better Maliks are going to have 180, 190,000 combined health and protection. That's why we won because the mods on Malik we're not perfect, and that's why I want to make sure you guys have full clarity because this is a very advanced lineup. It does work to an extent. It is a good counter, but the, you just got to be careful with uh, some of the things you see sometimes. So we're going to go up against this last one. I just showed you how the Malik was modded a little bit better, I believe, at 188,000, I said, compared to the first one. So again, BB is going to go in. We're going to get R2-D2 to his burning, 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 and then we're going to get T3 and 4 to come in here, get, the, get some target lock, more target lock on the field, and let's see. Now they're going to do their thing. Let's see if we can pull off a win here. All right, the Malik, uh, let's, so we got Corrupted Battle Meditation. Uh, we're going to just, if you have Corrupted Battle Meditation, just do not waste this. It's kind of a big waste. You want to try to increase Grievous' max health. There we go. 60,000 damage, not too shabby. And then there we go. We lost two characters. Let's see what Grievous can do. One hit right here. There we go. And now it's going to come down to Malik. And if you couldn't put down Malik at this point, it's going to be kind of a game over. But... It's still a success in my book. It is still a success because being able to knock down a Sith Empire team to this extent is going to be a huge strategy and a huge tip for Grand Arena as well as uh, if we can maybe stunlock Malak all the way through, we might be able to pull off a win. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Can Grievous do it? Mm, 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 no. Okay. I hope this video 
added some more clarity to this. I love the theory crafting the community has been doing, taking that idea that I had and making it even better. Uh, what's my final thoughts on this? I think if you're trying to do this Suicide Squad team, IG-88 is going to be a good replacement for HK-47 to do a quick Suicide Squad, try to knock down a Sith Empire team as much as possible and clean up afterwards. And you definitely want to make sure BB-8 is super fragile, a lot of protection on T3 and 4 and RT2 so they last as long as possible. IG-88, he's only going to get one hit. He's going to go bye-bye. And then Grievous, I think probably the best way to mod him is going to be health set plus a critical damage triangle and just trying to make him as slow as possible so you could try to time out the corrupted battle meditation and the droids dying off let me know down below what are your guys' thoughts and i mean again this is a uh, major success in my book still being able to find a good counter team that uh, can clean out a lot of uh, i can guarantee that he's going to clear out a lot of sith empire characters if you do happen to lose the battle in territory wars or grand arena so comment down below on your thoughts maybe there's some other theory crafting ideas that we can make to perfect this a bit better but i want to make sure you guys have full clarity and give you my follow-up opinion on general grievous now that my shard has tons of gear 13 sith empire like comment down below subscribe so you're not missing a thing and be sure i think i just told you to subscribe <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. Peace out. Yeah. Party Richter, Party Richter. Get down, 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 down. Party Richter, Party Richter. Son of a bitch. Party Richter, Party Richter. Get down, down, down.